Hello. 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 Do you like video games? Yeah. No. no. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you for your response. I personally had a great time back in the junior high school because there's a, you know, we have lots of video games like Zhe Tian Tang, Sega, Game Boy, right? Yes. So you can imagine how excited I am that I once uh, they will know that there's a movie all featuring these game characters about to release the market. Today I would like to introduce you one of my favorite Disney movie called Wreck It Ralph. I'm not sure whether you heard this movie before, but did you know the movie? Let me sing a song for you. Let it go, let it go, don't hold it back anymore. Do you know which movie that is? Frozen! Yes, correct! I'm singing the It song from the movie Frozen. So if you like Frozen, then the script, you must like Wreck-It Ralph. Why? Because the script writer of Frozen is same with Wreck-It Ralph, and I personally like Ralph the better. If you are a game lover, then you'll be as thrilled as I am. Because when you watch the movie, you'll see so many characters in the movie. There is a Sonic, there is Super Mario, and there you have Chun-Li, Zangief, in, in a, even in a Street Fighter. So you'll be very so excited that you get to see this character in this movie. And basically, all these characters in the movie are just like, like us. They're a set of women, working classes. So once this game store closed, they will complain about, oh, how exhausted they are after one hard day labor work. And they will go to restaurants, they even go to bars to have a drink. I know what you're thinking. There's nothing so special about this kind of creativity when we, uh, when, when a movie, Toy Story, was released to the market, right? But let me tell you that way, Disney really find out the unconventional way to reinterpret that idea that if you really watch the movie, I tell you that, you will be truly amazed how creative those people are. Okay, let's go back to the movie. The leading character in the movie is Ralph. He is the bad guy in a game called Fix It Felix. We all know how game goes, right? There's always be a hero and always be a bad guy. And there's this hero's final destiny is trying to destroy, try to defeat the bad guy and to save the world. And once the hero fulfills his destiny, the whole world, the whole crowd will cheer for him. That's how the game goes, right? We all want to be the heroes. But what if the bad guy doesn't want to be a bad guy? The only reason he wants to be a bad guy is because this is his job and he's forced to do it. What would that be? Maybe the bad guys aren't so bad at all. They don't have no interest in killing or destroying anything. They don't like it at all. Ralph is the person I just mentioned before. He, you know, wreck it Ralph, the only thing he can do is to wreck things. So all other characters in the game doesn't like him at all. And Ralph was so frustrated and he's trying so hard, trying to get rid of his job. And he was promised that if he could win a medal from other games to prove that he's a true hero, then he's welcome to join the game in a group. Other char character will try to be friends with, with him because he's finally proven himself to be a hero. So you can imagine how hard Ralph, uh, Ralph tried to win a medal from other games. So he rushed into other games and tried to win a medal. I will not tell you whether he won it or not. I'll let you to find, it about, to find it out by yourself. But I'll tell you that during this journey, Ralph found out it is not the metal that changed his life. But he met a friend. And this is the friend's life attitude that really helped him to see his life different and to change his life com completely. In order not to spoil the fun of the movie, let's sleep on the storyline and talk a little bit more about Ralph. Why? It's because Ralph could be any one of us. Aren't you there sometimes that when you look back to your life, you find it dull and exhausting? Life is not supposed to be like that. Life is supposed to be fun and enthusiastic. Or could we just like Ralph, when we try so hard to find a medal, that we're thinking this is the key point for us to change our life. But in the end, we realize this is not a magic solution for our, for our problem. Or could we like Ralph, 
that we try to pre pretend to be the person other people want us to be. How can, you, how can your life be happy? How can your life be easy when you never be true to yourself? In that movie, not only Ralph had this kind of hero issue. In fact, all the other bad guy characters in the movie have the same problem, just like Ralph. So they have a supporting group to help each other <laughs> to get through this difficult time. So they will have a gathering, and they always recite one model before the meeting was over. It goes like, I am bad, and that is good. I am not good, but that's not bad at all. There's no one I'd rather be. It is not supporting us to be bad guy. Of course we're not bad guy. But it's actually telling us, when you be true to yourself, one day your time will come for you to shine as long as you're true to yourself. And I really enjoyed this movie because I think it's not, it, uh, the movie is not just uh, interesting and eye amusing. It's because it truly tells us a different to review things from a different perspective. And I strongly recommend you, recommend you to watch a movie by yourself. And I'm sure there, there will be another lesson from you when you watch that movie. And I'm more than welcome to share with me. Thank you very much.